Hello everyone, I'm Salperific and welcome back to another video. Today I'm bringing you guys a quick update video. Now this was going to be a video of me talking about just one thing in particular and then I was going to leave it like that, but like eh. I have a few things to talk about so I'm just going to keep talking until I can't talk about anything else until you know I got everything off my chest. But yeah, how are you guys doing today? It's been a while since I posted, like almost two weeks. Just got back home from work. I am tired, but I decided to record this video for y'all so you know I can get it out as soon as possible and let you guys know what's going on. So first things first. The casting of Frank Stone series, we finished it. You can watch all 10 episodes on the channel, it's in a playlist for you to watch, and you know, go check it out if you haven't. But, if you guys don't know, this was made by uh, Supermassive Games. So we played a whole bunch of their games on this channel, like Man Madan, you know, Little Hulk, House of Ashes, The Quarry. Here it is, it's published by, no, not published, developed by Supermassive Games, yeah. And if you guys didn't notice, after uploading multiple parts of series on that game, I normally take all those parts and just put it into one thing, like a multiple movie-like thing for you to watch like it's an optional thing and i wasn't doing it for this series problem is i don't have enough storage i tried like literally everything and it was so bad i was like you know what i might just sacrifice the qualities i even tried downgrading to 720p i'm not going below that it was hard for me to go away from 1080 but that's 720 i'm not going lower than that but yeah like this whole thing to export and get it out it was gonna be like over 50 gigs and i just don't have that because i have a whole bunch of other stuff on my computer i don't have the space i probably could buy some more storage but i'm using the money for other upcoming stuff still paying off some bills that's some other stuff i need to buy and i'm like eh, it's an official thing and plus i'm pretty sure nobody's gonna watch like six hours of us playing this game so yeah maybe in the future i'll try again when i have more storage if i magically get it somehow but as of right now, I need the storage for my computer because I'm working on a personal project to edit. So I have to scrap this project for now. So I'm just letting you guys know that. If you're wondering where the movie playthrough of this series is, it's not coming anytime soon. I mean, I have one more method to try, and if that doesn't work, I guess it's going to be the first match of games that I play on the channel where it doesn't get a movie playthrough. So yeah, that's that. Speaking of games, I recently played Sonic X Shadow Generations. And what I want to talk about is mainly the Shadow stuff. Man, oh my goodness. This game is amazing, and I'm... <laughs> You know, Sega is winning this year with all the games coming out, like the Persona 3 remake, uh, Metaphor, and now this game. Now, I'm not really going to talk much about side generations, I'm mainly came for Shadow, and although it was short, that game is amazing. The presentation, the animation, the story, the dialogue, the visuals, oh my gosh, it plays like buttery smooth, and I just hope that Sega continues on this like streak for Sonic. And we still have the Sonic movie coming out later this year, so I can't wait for that too. Well, I say later this year as if it's like a long time from now, but no, it's like literally right around the corner. When does it come out again? December? I think so. But yeah, Sega, you just keep it up. I hope you can keep the same energy for the next Sonic game that you guys make. I know there's rumors going around if it's going to be an uh, original Sonic game or a remake of like Adventure or Heroes. I'm not sure, but whatever it is, I hope that they can take what they learned from this and Sonic Frontiers and put it into that next game. Also, one more thing. Well, it's actually two more games I want to talk about is Dead by Daylight. Um, it's been a while since I've been on the Xbox version of Dead by Daylight. It's been a while since you guys see me on my Xbox dashboard because I've been mainly playing this game on my PC. And yeah, um, there's an event going on, the Haunted by Daylight event. I was going to do a live stream on it, but I already got what I wanted and I only come on here when I'm bored. Like if I want to play matches while well, listening to YouTube, that's what I normally do. So that's why you guys haven't seen me live stream this event. It's basically the same as last year's Halloween event, but they added some stuff onto it. So yeah, I already got what I needed from this event. Oh yeah, and I got the multiple shards from the behaviors gift to us for duplicate stuff if we did crossplay. I forgot to put it, but yeah. This is the most amount of iridescent shards I had in this account, so that's something. I guess I can show that off. But yeah, I don't know if I'm going to do a live stream of this game anytime soon, but never say never. Alright, and last but not least for the final game I want to talk about is a game that released today. So if we go to games and we go to new games, it should be right here on the front page. Yep, Life is Strange. I'm going to buy this game. I should have been installing it, to be honest. But I'm not even going to play the game today. Probably going to play it like later this week. Oh, they got a trial too. Oh, well, that's cool. But it's alright. It's Life is Strange. I'm going to buy it and play through it. I'm hoping this game's going to be good. I remember, what, when was this game released? Like, when did they first show it? Was it the Game Awards or something? Or Xbox Show? I can't remember when that we first saw this, but I was surprised to see this. Like, this was the last thing I was expecting to get this year in terms of games. But yeah, definitely we'll be playing this. And after this, I'm going uh, to hop on, what's it called? Until Dawn. Not the remake though, I already have the original game on my PlayStation, but that's never finished it. So yeah, those are some games I'm looking forward to. And last but not least, anything else I want to talk about? I mean, I don't know. I've just been living life, spending time with family. Spending a lot of money too, that's been a whole thing. I've been in and out of New York. I had a doctor's appointment yesterday, uh, what was it, Sunday. 
I went to the Museum of Illusions for the first time. That museum is a ripoff. I don't suggest anybody to go. It's just expensive and mad short. But I did go with my parents and my grandma, so that was nice. Like, literally after the museum, we went out to eat by uh, the Olive Garden in Times Square. I don't like traversing Times Square. It's a whole headache. But anyway, yeah, just been hanging out with family, going to different, like, church events. And life's been pretty good. Well, except the money I've been spending. I've been spending a lot. Like, I forgot what it was. Three weeks ago? Three, four weeks ago? I remember I was driving to work one morning, and on my way there, I was changing lanes. I take my eyes off the road in front of me for a second to change, make sure I'm safe to turn in. And then all I hear is pop! Look at my dashboard, the tire light is on. I said, oh my gosh. Finished work, had to drive home on a flat tire. Literally, when I got off the exit for the highway, that's when the tire light blew out even more. And it's funny, I stopped right by, uh, what's it called, the tire place to get it fixed, but they were closed during the weekdays. So I had to drive on that flat tire home, and it was late by that time. I think it was like around five o'clock, and most of the tire places are closed. Well, at least in my area, those are the times they close. So I had to wait for the next day to get it taken care of. And I did have a spare tire, but I didn't have the tools to install it, so. That was just the icing on the cake for that day. So the next day, I drove on that fl same flat to the tire place. Had to pay, like, what? I forgot what I had to pay for that flat. I know it was, like, it was under 200 but still high. And this was also around the time where the thread on my tires were low, so I had to get all my tires rethreaded. That was, like, 500 and change. Then a whole another week later, as I'm getting off break at work, I go back to my station, and my manager comes to me and says, Hey, you don't happen to drive a, a Honda Accord, do you? I said, Yeah, I do. He said, Oh, boy. I said, What? I knew the next thing he said wasn't going to be good. Like, I was expecting, like, someone towed the car or something, but nope. Someone scratched my vehicle, and it was a guy. He was heading back to Florida, and he had a boat tied to his thing. And while he was parking the lot, his boat scratched my car. The damage wasn't bad, but he didn't want to, you know, get insurance into it, of course kept saying he was sorry blah 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 okay i took his number took his information and i said uh let me take it to the shop tomorrow let me see how much it costs to get the body job done i got the price it was like almost 800 dollars. he just sent me it i was like uh so i still have the 800 but i'm just contemplating on whether or not i actually want to fix the car because it's, it's not a part that's barely noticeable and damage isn't that bad but i'm honestly just thinking about just pocketing the 800 and just keeping it for future use but yeah it's just a whole bunch of nonsense that's been happening recently a lot of money spending and i think that's all i want to talk about well except one more thing you guys are going to get a whole video on this topic but i might i might as well just say a thank you now while i have you here thank you guys for 1000 well i should say over 1000 subscribers now we hit it back in what the end of september and now the beginning of november is around the corner and i still haven't made a video about it don't worry it will be coming soon um if i had to say when the video is coming the earliest i say the video is coming is probably late november and the latest the video is going to be coming is sometime in december before the year ends so that's that on that but yeah thank you guys so much for you know sticking around and choosing to subscribe and watch the videos i appreciate it and i'm glad we made this milestone 1000 subscribers after so many years i finally hit it but yeah that's all i want to say for now just give you guys a quick update just talking about some you know random shenanigans should i make this an extra perfect talks it's been a while since i add to that series maybe i don't know but we'll see let's see what post editing so perfect decides to do with the video where it's a regular update video or extra perfect talks episode i'm not sure but we'll see anyway that's all i want to say thank you guys for watching hope you guys all enjoyed and i will see you guys in the next video goodbye